Hello there and welcome to another instalment of Vlogmas. I absolutely love Christmas. One thing I don't love though is my capture card not working and I have to use this camera instead of my DSLR. So I'm sorry about the inferior quality. I have been going crazy. It's like I spent a whole year offline capture card work fine. The minute I want to start streaming again, the capture card isn't working. Um, yeah, just absolutely typical. However, let's get a little bit of Christmas music on. I'm going to show you something pretty bloody cool today. Um, I'm going to show you Mid Journey. And this is actually uh, quite new. I haven't been using Mid Journey for a long time. Um, it's an AI tool. And I don't know if you guys have been... Um, you know, finding out anything about AI tools, working out, is this even going to be something that I can use in, in L&D? You know, um, I'm going to say to you that it may not have been something that you, you maybe thought you could have used. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my music connected up. And I bet you this typically doesn't work as well. Um, but it is, it is something that you can absolutely use. So, <clears throat> going to take you on a bit of an, a, uh, a, an adventure. So let me know where you're tuning in from. I do have a few people here uh, online. Sorry, I am trying to just get this music playing in the background. And uh, I bet you it doesn't work. How typical. Um, forget this device, uh, this device. I've been being smart and um, playing music on my phone through my roadcaster, so I don't have it on my screen, but it may not work. Oh, well, that's fine. So let's show you my screen. I've got a lot of stuff going on here. I might just uh, take you first to mid journey. <clears throat> Looks very, very trippy. Um, Mid Journey is another AI tool. Now, I spoke about Jasper AI uh, the other day and how Jasper has an element of uh, it helps you with writing. You know, you've, you've got an idea or you're wanting to, um, you know, just conceptualize some ideas. AI. Um, Jasper is fantastic. So it's something that is part of my kit. Um, maybe don't use it for courses, but certainly social media posts. If I just need to write blogs, it's brilliant. Now Jasper have released Jasper art. Had a go. You can see some of the things that have been, um, created here for Jasper art. Okay. And I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Uh, you can see black French bulldog with gold chain, right? It's saying what kind of style, what medium, uh, what kind of artist style, right? So it's got a lot of um, options here that you can choose from, right? And, uh, and then it will gen generate your image, right? So obviously this is one that's been generated. Um. So I've had a look at that. I had a play with Dali, which is another um, open AI tool that you can use to create imagery. Okay. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about prompts. Okay. Because this is, this is something that's really important. You're, you're, um, you're generating something from text. You're saying what you want and AI is generating it. It's not um, stealing it from somewhere else, but it is like it's scraping the web for ideas. So if you say, um, uh, you know, one of your um, favorite artists, um, you know, let's say it's uh, Leonardo da Vinci or Salvador Dali, you can uh, you can put those kind of terms in to create imagery. I mean, we'd never use anything like that in L&D, so let's be realistic. I'm going to keep this talking about maybe how we might be able to use it in schools or um, L&D, 
right? So again, I've had a, have had a little go at um, Dali. It was okay. I know Tom's tuning in. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Tom. Uh, I'd love to know, have you been playing around at all with AI, right? Um, I find Dali, um, it's, it's okay, um, but the, the images haven't been that great a quality. So I watched a couple of videos recently and learned about Mid Journey, and this was very exciting. Um, Mid Journey have just released version four, which has really upscaled their content. So if I, um, so essentially Mid Journey is working through Discord now. When I learned about this, I said, oh, I, don't, I am no, I'm not interested in doing Discord. It's complicated for me. I think it's a little bit complicated. Um, anyway, I do have a Discord. I logged in. It was very, very simple. And I was able to get right into it. But before we get there, let's just jump in the gallery. Okay. And I'm going to jump first into the community feed. I think when you look at these um this level of quality now, it is mind blowing. You know, right? so this is an absolutely, these are absolutely unique images that have been created. And the most exciting thing about this is you actually get the prompts to use. Now, mid journey, is it free? Mid journey is not free. You can do a trial and it is, um, it, it'll give you 25 images, I think, right? Uh, the next level up, and, I, I, and it is cheap as chips, right? Um, a basic membership per month is 10 US dollars, okay? And, and that is for general commercial, um, general commercial terms, which we'll look at, look in, in into a minute and standard membership, okay? So let's just have a quick look about the um, membership policy. Um, so it's basically saying, um, we're, we're going to uh, allow you to, to um, create as many images as you want, but if you go crazy on the server, because remember there's a server that's generating content, it will, uh, slow you down a little bit. So I found last night rendering out images, um, it wouldn't allow me to do f more than four at a time, but that's fine. I'm thinking about things. I can't do that many things, right? So it's saying, what do you mean by relaxed? Can I, vol uh, can I volunteer to be relaxed? Um, what if I want things rendering faster? So it's taking about a minute to render an image, right? It absolutely is a bargain in comparison to other stock image sites, Tom. And you're going to, your head, if you haven't used this yet, your head's going to explode. It's so good, right? Okay. So it's saying here, how does a commercial, how does commercial use work? You're pretty free to use these images in just about any way you, you want, as long as this special case restriction does not apply to you. If you're using the images as an employee of a company that makes more than 1 million a year USD in revenue, you need to purchase a corporate plan. Okay. So for those of you who are, um, you know, in schools and um, you're a freelancer, it's going to be fine. If you're in a corporate um environment, you're going to have to get the corporate plan. And I think it's $600 a month, but I tell you what, uh, this is still very interesting for you to keep you, um, for you to have a think about because we're not quite there. It's not creating like my dream would be, I can type in something that I want as an SVG and it downloads it for me. And then it's perfect. It's not absolutely perfect, but, uh, it's, it's pretty good, right? Um, can I cancel my subscription plan? You're free to cancel anytime, uh, but the cancellation will be effective until the end of the current billing cycle. Can I change my plan? Yes, anytime. Cool. So we've kind of gone over this. Um, 
you can see it doesn't have the commercial plan. I only know because I watched the video on it. All right, so let's just, oh, here you go, enterprise plans, right? Um, so 600 US dollars, right? Um, single user unlimited plan, right? So I presume that a business would just um, use one login, you know, unless they're doing something really special. Now, another thing that came out this week was the fact that you can now sell AI images, I think to um, Adobe will sell our AI generated art, but with regulations, right? Um, so that's Adobe stock. So what did it say? Um, it, it becomes quite dangerous uh, in a way because um, this is because this is on. Um, Discord, anyone and and open like this, anyone can take it. Now that's one of the um, features with the subscription that you can make your image your images on Discord private. All right. Anyway, we won't even get there. Let's have a look at what is here. So I love that we can put in. So Paul Strand, right? Let's just type in Paul Strand, just so we can understand. So he's a American photographer, right? And he's obviously got a certain style of images that he does, right? So this person has said, uh, uh, style, Paul Strand, front shop, beautiful young woman, wool cap, brown eyes, street in background. Right. Now, that is mind blowing that an image has created, that someone has generated that image. So what you do is you throw in to Discord, and we'll do it in a minute, the prompt, okay? And it will give four options, right? So here it's generated four different options. And from there, you can then say, okay, I want to upscale this image or I want variations of this image. So you can then refine and refine and refine. So you can see here that this person, and, and it takes a little bit of a, um, it's a bit of an art form in itself that it's trying to um, get that, get that a prompt right so that you can get the right image. So here, someone has said, well, the same person, Paul, style, Paul Strand, front shot, beautiful young woman, wool cap, brown eyes, street in background. So it's obviously generated a few options, okay? Like this one's a good one. I mean, look at the detail on the hat. It's fantastic, right? Um, so... That's one example, right? You can see that there's very um, a very strong futuristic um, element to to it. So um, I think anyone who's generating this kind of art, uh, you know, it's a fantastic <laughs> uh, medium to be using. But you know, we're not going to realistically be able to use a lot of this kind of stuff, right? So the, this is the community feed. This is what's hot right now, right? Um, and I'll show you what I've been playing around with. I mean, look at that. Really buff, strong toddler uh, that will beat you up. His body is toned AF and he is jacked. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Let's see. What did it give for that? Man. Okay. I mean, you'll see, I'll be showing you some really weird things that I've been looking at. Um, and to be honest, I actually went down a bit of a, what's it called? Like a rabbit hole last night. Um, you know, looking at different stuff. Um, because once I started looking at certain themes of things, it was just giving me loads of ideas. 
All right. Uh, so my home feed, let's have a look at it. So I'll go from the beginning, right? Now, uh, for those of you who don't know me personally, I hate Donald Trump. So I was um, trying to generate angry toddler Donald Trump in a yellow rain coat, rain boots holding umbrella style of precious moments figurine, right? Um, and I'll show you when we, we do some, we do a couple of demos, but in the beginning, um, this was before version four. So it looks pretty like the, it wasn't quite understanding what exactly was, was going on. Right. Wednesday Adams as a scary vinyl figure. Right. And to be honest, I was taking some prompts from other people. I was trying to work out, right? So this was a cute yellow wallpaper. It gave me four options, which was just unbelievable. That's all I gave it, cute yellow wallpaper. And honestly, um, I could have used any of these. And I'm just talking about having a bit of fun. So this was caricatures. So another thing that we can do is we can actually upload someone's image and then say, um, I want an exaggerated male caricature in a cute Pixar style, style, a Pixar Disney style, right? Right. Uh, I tried to bring up Kylie Minogue. It looked so weird. Um, this was, again, I did England 1800. Uh, Taylor Swift, there's like a Ralph McQuarrie. <laughs> um, yeah, it's showing you really weird stuff that I was um, looking at. Um, Jimmy Marvel style uh, imagery. I really love Ollie Moss. So I was trying to um, do a kind of... Uh, British suburban house. Um, so we'll we'll jump in and we'll we'll try and create some stuff. Again, this was a Ollie Moss um, movie poster that I wanted to create that was kind of in a Palm Springs style. Um, so I tried a few things. I tried the actual imagery. Okay, um, you can you can start being very specific. So, the, was this a white background? Uh, you can be specific. Green background, right? So, this was pop art, illustration, icon, flat, in style of Malika Favre. Green background, clean background, right? Um, I did some isometric stuff. I did some weird stuff, right? Um, and again, I wanted to just show you this because this is where it becomes really specific. You know, the analog film picture from the 70s, three Hamish boys, 27 years old, posing in front of camera seriously. Map Mapplethorpe style, very detailed skin, detailed arms, detailed dress, ultra resolution, very high details, ultra detailed face photographic, um, F-stop 1.4, inspired by Nan Golden photography, cinema lights, high resolution text texture, right? Now, and this is where it can get scary, right? Because uh, if you are you know, it's going to be hard to know soon kind of what, what uh, is real and what isn't soon, you know? Um, so that, that, that pushed out some really weird stuff. Um, so then uh, there was a, a, a woman on um, Discord who was trying to do uh, Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak as coal miners, right? 
And this was actually just really interesting taking the prompts. So let's jump into Discord. I've shown you this. We've wasted enough time. Nuns with guns. Um, I mean, by changing some of the words, you can get like something hyper-realistic. Right, we're going to jump into Discord because I've now spoken for 20 minutes about this. Right. Discord, let's open this up full. Okay, so when you get into Discord, okay, you're going to have, for those of you who've never been to Discord or used Discord before, uh, you're going to come through it bit by bit, go through the announcements, go through the rules, FAQs, everything. It's going to talk about child support child support, trial support, member support. Um, and as a newbie, you'll come into one of these newbie rooms, right? So let's just jump into one. Okay. Right. So you can see, so I just sat here processing what other people were doing here. White men, intergalactic, space traveler, color, 8K, hyper-realistic. Okay. So it gives you ideas, okay? Now, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to take you through this. Might actually take a prompt from the community feed since these are the ones that are the most popular right now. So you can understand um, the complexity of some of these. Like, look at that. Um, so we, we can start pretty, pretty simple. Okay. Um, let me do, cause I, I can see it, us being able to use this for things like icons, right? Uh, so let's maybe do this since it's Christmas. So. I can go in here and I can click on anyone's image and I can go copy full command, right? And I'll jump back into Discord and I come down here. So what do we do? We do backslash and it wants this image prompt, okay? And from here, we throw in the prompt. Now this V4 is showing that it's a version four, okay? Christmas wreath, holly with ornaments, icon, SVG. Now, it's not going to come out as an SVG. Vector, modern, flat, flat style color. Let's do something different. Let's say Christmas tree with ornaments, icon. SVG vector modern flat style color. Okay, we press enter and we wait. So what's happening here is as someone, just like when we use any kind of forum, as someone uses the um, this part of Discord, you might find someone actually post something in a minute. Okay, so we're going to have to scroll up and find whatever... Yeah, so someone's just rendered this out. Okay, more realistic of this image. So we'll we'll try doing this as well. So this is the image that someone has actually um, posted, right? Sorry, I'm jumping back and forth from Discord. All right, ours is still rendering. Oh, it's coming, eighty-five percent. Right. Um, so we'll show you, I'll show you as well how we can use an image, right, and uh, have that influence our content. So showing you this, for example, Celest Celestial Warrior, this is the image that someone has put in, <laughs> maybe it's him, right, and he wants himself made into a celestial, I mean, Jesus, it's kind of crazy. Um, all right, let's go up and have a look at our icon. 
Right, we're scrolling up. You can see how this is being used while we're doing this. Right, where, where is it gone? Okay, so this is what it's given us. And hey, it's not bad. Um, as far as you can see the star on that doesn't quite look right, right? But it looks pretty good here. The icons look okay. Some of them are a bit skew if This is pretty perfect. So what would we do here? Well, we can go, I want to upscale number one. So it goes one, two, three, four. So let's upscale one. So it's going to, again, it's going to render. All right. It's going to render number one. We'll, we'll find it in a minute. And we could say, let's give us another four versions, variations of number one, right? Okay. So let's go down. Where is it? Okay. Kath. So it's, it's just working on it right now. Do you guys have any questions? I know I have got people tuning in, but you're all very quiet. Is there anything you'd like to see me um, search for? You know, is this something that you think you might use? I watched uh, one of my favorite designers the other day and he said that he had used Dali for, um, he couldn't find a mime with a clapper board. Obviously he needed it for something and he was able to generate it just through AI. Um, so here we go. Oops. So you got an icon. Now here are four variations. So again, you could take this and you could go, uh, you know, I prefer this one. Now it's got these three colors in it and you can just refine it and refine it and refine it. Um, which is really, really cool. I mean, look at that. That is just insane. Okay. So a lot of this is going to be spending time, uh, spending time looking through what these prompts are and then refining these prompts. So we can again, Look at a very, very simple one, Animate 4K, right? So for this one, let's just have a look at what... Now, I think I actually copied this prompt from someone. So let's go into Discord. So I don't think... So I'm, I'm going Imagine. All right. So that was the original image. Okay, let's um, jump over to Chrome and have a look at it. Right, so this person has uploaded a photo of themselves, right? Oops. And they've wanted it to look like... God, go away. An anime image. All right. Uh, so we can try and do something like this. I mean, this was real neat. I love um, Star Wars. So I think I found this in the community feed. So if I say... Uh, what was the term? We won't do that one. We will do, oh, imagine, portrait of, uh, who should we say? Not Taylor Swift. 
let's maybe say um, I don't know Angelina Jolie or something as Princess Leia right <laughs> let's just see what that does now there's some terms here that are very uh, important for you to know so I didn't put the V4 on there. The V4 seems to give you a very, uh, very detailed shot. If you see, then some people aren't using the V4. Right. Um, somewhere someone used a V4. There, right. So anime images. Right. Uh, so I haven't used it. Where's my, where was my one? You can lose it very quick because of the amount of people that are using this. Oh, that's cool. All right. So AR is aspect ratio. Okay. This video is um i wrote all these down i think it's giving it a pixelated look and then up beta so test makes it just one image so it would it's saving you your credits basically but this is coming out pretty sick maybe video means video cover all right, so this is coming up. So that is where, um, and again, you know, we're, we're talking about learning here. There might be really fun ways of creating pop culture kind of images. Um, you know, I, I did a really interesting uh, course for, the Transport Accident Commission that was on um, fraud and corruption. And to be able to create certain assets in this would have been pretty neat. But, hey, I think that looks pretty good. And, of course, you can see Angelina Jolie. Um, and it's created, you know, like a, Nothing that we've seen before in Star Wars, but you could look at this quite easily and say, hey, that looks, um, you know, it's got a, they've got a, a Jedi robe on and that kind of helmet could have come from Star Wars. So it's not stealing it uh, necessarily. Like I said, it's conceptualizing ideas. So if we go back to Discord, okay, you can see, so this person's uploaded a picture and we'll do it in a minute. We'll, we'll upload a picture, more realistic, futuristic version of this image. Let's have a look what that person is doing. Um, So a lot of it's learning just what other people are doing. That's pretty cool. So again. All right. So this person, oh God, what's this? LeBron James as a Norse God, ultra realistic, dramatic lighting. So, if we, let's say, right, I take that and put the V4 on the end, right? Let's see what it comes up with. Imag and, um, imagine, imagine. People don't, it's not a problem you doing this, you know, taking someone else's thing. So I'm going to go uh, dash dash version Is that right? V4. Yeah. So it's dash, dash, V, space, four. 
Right, let's see what this comes up with. You know, uh, this looks really neat. And we'll have a look out of newbies and go into some themes. I just want to show you this image and see what it comes up with. Um, so you can also go in and you can rate people's work, which I think is really cool. Um, and that's what gets you fe featured on the first page. Right, so <laughs> you can see the difference now with that LeBron James one that was a, f a full, they haven't put that V4, they haven't put a lot of detail in here. Whereas here, look at that. I don't even think that looks like LeBron James. Let's have a look at one, two, three. We'll upscale three and have a look at it. But this is as easy as it can be to see if you if you don't use some of these ter additional terms, it's going to really struggle generating some of these images. So here we go. Let's have a look at what this looks like. And you could see that I could upscale that. I could also just say, just give me a whole new one. You know, I don't like any of them. Okay, so we're at 60%. And this might give me an additional uh, feature to upscale it. You can see that people here are using it for ideas to conceptualize logos. It's an interesting thing. See, look at it. Look at his eyes. Look crazy. All right. So you can also do make variations directly from it. You can tell it that you like it, right? And you can do a beta upscale. I found that the beta upscale, I'll do it so I can show you, it kind of takes some of the detail away, right? So from here, you could save save the image, um, et cetera. Um, and then we'll jump in and we'll have a look. Okay, so this is just going to render. If I come out of it, I'll lose it. So there's someone that's doing flowers, beautiful watercolor painting, white gardenia, pure, noble, 1080, high quality, beautiful lighting. I mean, I'm, I'm actually blown away by the, uh, the quality of some of this. All right, so this should be what we've just done. We've just upscaled this. Actually, so what this has done, which I like, is the um, the eyes in the last one, I think, were like, a, yeah. So see, see the the chest. It's a little bit softer, whereas there's beads of sweat now on this one, right? So it's playing around a little bit and pushing it as far as you can go. So let's have a look down here. So showcase, show and tell. So this is a place that people can share what they've come up with, right? Which is pretty cool. What it doesn't do well as well is, is text. So... What you can do is if you don't um, want text in things, you can actually um, use terms. Now, I have it on my phone. Uh, so when you're doing the prompts, you're going to say um, no, no text. Right. So there was a really great example of someone who wanted to do um, a headless ghost. And because you use the word head, it 
um, it actually put a head there, which was really annoying for the for the person. So they did a portrait of a ghost torso, and then they used the um, I don't know if you remember. I was using the dash dash version four. So they did dash dash no head. So what you could do is go dash dash no text, right? Um, so again, uh, where were we? We were in um, show and tell, I think. That's okay. I mean, how adorable is that? I, I think where, where this pushes the boundaries is there's there's art right and you know artist conceptualizing an idea but ai is so powerful it is literally taking it to the next level so um if you like something as well you can actually click in and you can um Uh, I thought there was a way of sharing this. Stuffed plush purple alien. So, what have they done here? Extremely cute, kawaii, happy, magical, mystical, enchanted, celestial, comic, serene, sur surreal, designed by... So that's obviously a designer that they've merged together. So what I do is if there are some of these that I really think that uh, are going to help me write better prompts in the future, I might copy, um, copy that prompt. So if I, if I want to, for example, what's that doing? Go to the web. This will take you to mid journey. Yeah. Ah, so I can actually open that and I can bookmark it. And then anything that I like, I can then come back to in my bookmark. You? I thought I just bookmarked it. It could, yeah, this could be, it's not here. Um, hmm. Maybe I didn't click it properly. Let's do it again. So web. Right, so I'm gonna bookmark it. And I might choose to go and look into that person's profile as well. And anything that I like, you know, this is pretty cute. I can copy and I can take that prompt. So it's as simple as that. I can also choose to follow a person if you know, so they've created a collection here. This is a collection of stuffed toys. So they've not put things in there. Anyway, let's jump back to Discord and keep going. Right? I mean, there's things that are certainly not of any kind of interest to me. Um, some of these are more for storytelling and things like that. Um and as far as just appreciating good art, uh, did I actually want to? So that's the same person, Corgi Dreams. That's pretty wild. Someone did a really great experiment as well, and they 
took the images from um, Dali, the prompts, and they put it in to Mid Journey and we're just showing with this enhancement, this version four, this enhancement to this 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 engine is mind blowing. So I'm just jumping into another one. So this is ultra realistic 8K Denethor as a Jedi in Star Wars holding a purple lightsaber patchwork college portrait. I don't know who this person is, but that looks so amazing. Um, so you can see Soul Bass opening credits, dodgeball, highly detailed side view, dynamic HD 8, 8K. So that's really great. Um, now I wonder if we just open this, cause I'd love to do this experiment and do the no text. So I can take that copy full command, go back to my discord, scroll down to the bottom, right? I'm going imagine, right? And soul bass. And I'm going to go dash dash. No text. Let's see if this works. Might not work. <laughs> let's, let's just see. We can have a look through what other people are doing. Whoa. This is cool. I mean, I could, I could feel like I know this is a, I could feel like this is a real image. Okay, let's come down, see what it's done. Oh, here's another one. Sin City. Where was mine? It can't be moving that fast. This is the thing you can, you can get lost if you don't keep your eye out on it. Ah, no, it brought in text. It was at fifty four percent. So I'll have to work on that. Work on how I can have it absolutely taken taking out um, words. Uh, so if I say here, mid journey, remove uh, prompt, no text. So there's lots of stuff out here that can help you out. Uh, right, so what are they saying? Uh, cowboy wearing a tuxedo on the moon. Um, yeah, so you can, you can do all this kind of stuff. Uh, oh, Andy Warhol, sizing resolution. Yeah, so some different aspect ratios, you can pull it out. Oh, you can also put weights on the prompts. So uh, um, imagine wild anima t animals, tiger. Zebra and lions. Filtering out words. Use the no keyword to discharge any unwanted subjects. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna, you guys are gonna go on an adventure, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. I think that my prompt was pretty rubbish and probably a waste of uh, credit. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? And what I'll say to you is, you might be going, oh, Kath, you know, I, we still can't use some of this in e-learning. Let's just do a couple of quickies, right? Let's go. Imagine. Um, uh, we might need to 
have a, a do you know what? I'm not even going to do it. I'm, I'm just going to, I might put, do, do some examples and come back on during Vlogmas and show you what I've done. Um, I'd need to have a think about it, but I'm sure there's a way that we can create pretty generic images. If you look at that, that's even fairly generic. So um, it's getting these terms right. And this is what I'm still learning. So if I, if I take that and let's go um, workplace party, Party, Christmas at atmosphere, cinema lighting, da, da 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 Let's just see what that comes out with, like. And then once you've got these images that you're creating, um, or icons or whatever, You've got them all there in your profile that you can just reuse. Or it could be an idea that you're wanting to create a um, a vector that you're actually going to draw um, a vector. So where did I? Oh, no. That's pretty cool. All right. So it should be any second. When it loads. Um, Kath. Oh. Cannot find it. This is moving way too fast now. I did just see a Christmas party. Yeah, okay. So it's not giving me the look and feel of an actual um, Christmas party. But the, there might be ways that we can uh, really refine this. So for me, I'd be using terms like Christmas party, um, office, Melbourne, and I'd be changing some of the terms that I've used because this looks cool, but it doesn't, maybe it was using those terms like Unreal Engine and things like that. Anyway, I'm going to uh, sign off. This has been nearly an hour. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing another Vlogmas. I hope that um, this has been helpful. I don't know if you've ever seen um, AI art or uh, you've ever played around with this stuff it is really cool and um, you know a lot of them are free to just jump on and do trials if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'd love to um, help and I'm going to try there is a tool out there that you can upload an image and it will give you prompts from it so I'm going to try and find that link. I couldn't find it before um, I did my video. So I'm going to find that, what it is. I'm going to share it with you. And I'm going to try and get generic stock imagery and let's try and make it. Sometimes it's a bit hit and miss with people, but I'd love to see if I can create things like background environments, you know, um, you know, like a hospital environment, like a hallway or things like that. Yes, we can get it off stock imagery, but, you know, what if we had the recipe to make multiple versions of certain environments 
I think that would be pretty cool. Anyway, have a wicked weekend. Um, stay out of trouble. And thank you very much for uh, jumping in, Tom. I know there are, there are lots of people watching, but um, that doesn't matter. That's fine. Thanks for your input anyway. And I'll catch you later. Cheers.